Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore Drag GAN. Okay, you would have seen it in the last few days. Drag your GAN, a new AI model that has been launched. Okay, and the code is still not available. That will be available in the month of June. But there is an unofficial implementation that they have given on Google Colab that we'll also explore today. And the credit goes to Ji Kiang Lai and the team. Kudos to them for giving us an implementation there so we can at, at least explore it through collab and how it works on a graduate application so if you talk about drag your gang guys you know you can see it here the research paper the project page by the way it says interactive point based manipulation on the generative image manifold okay this is the abstract there have been some demos that you would have already seen i'm just you know assuming that okay, that there have been multiple you know demos on LinkedIn and Reddit and Telegram and other social media channels and also on the internet as well. So basically, you know, drag GAN is a technique, guys, that that allows us to change and manipulate images in a very precise and controlled way. Okay, you know, imagine you have a picture of dog and you want to change its basically its, its for example this one change its pose, shape or expression. So with drag GAN you can drag different parts of the image to the exact positions you want just like you know moving puzzle pieces around okay so to achieve this to, uh, to understand this that how it's working we'll cover that so drag GAN uses two important components first it uses a special type of training you know that i have gone through the research paper that's called feature based motion supervision extremely fascinating to understand this guys feature based motion supervision let me just write it over here as well because the demo would have already seen it I'm just writing over here. It says, you know, feature based motion supervision. This is the first component. Okay, in this feature based, you know, a supervision. And let me just write the second component as well. So we'll have an, you know, a track here. Super is the second one is called discriminative gang, guys. Okay, we'll cover that. This is very clever way of also keep a track of the image i will cover that so these are the two you know uh, component that drag can uses on a very high level so if you talk about the first one feature based motion supervision it's a special type of training okay this basically means that the system learns how to how different points in the image should move to reach a specific target position so if you see for example if i come over here and i'm some of the you can see a red one and the blue one okay so it it understands okay learn that how these points in the image should move to reach the specific target position okay so if a blue one is the target position for example how should it reach out okay to that point from the red one so when you drag a point the system knows that it should move to the end up in the right place okay? it should end up in the right place right there okay and that's the first part the second part if you talk about the discriminative gang okay it's a very clever way as i said to keep track of the points you are dragging so you know it's, it's a special characteristic that helps the system understand the image better so the dog image that you see it over here you know discriminative gan helps the system so it can understand this image in a better way you know and this feature helps the system continuously locate the positions of the point that we are moving you know even as we drag them around on this you know in, in this image okay you know if you talk about they have given a lot of demos here okay and the good thing about you know drag gan is that you know it works with a wide variety of images okay and it you know you can manipulate not only images like dogs cats and but also the cars human different landscape microscopic images etc it's very very fascinating because you know adobe has also released firefly yesterday they have added ai in the in the photoshop as well and that's what you know it's also important so and basically we talk about it right so it it, it outperforms the previous methods so you people are talking on the Reddit that they have a previous method when it comes to image manipulation and point tracking. And the best thing about that they say is that it can even work with the real images, not just computer generated ones. And this is possible through if you are familiar with GAN, this is possible through something called you know GAN inversion. Okay. Which is again a topic in itself where the system learns to recreate a real, real image based on the manipulations we make. The, the dragging point that we are dragging on the on the image, right? So manipulation, image manipulation. So that's where GAN inversion also helps. And let me just write it over here. Okay, about GAN inversion. So I'll just write it over here about GAN inversion. Okay. So now if you see here we have a 
Polak implementation. If you come, the, this is by Ji Kiang Lai. Okay, this is by this is what he has given. The team has given over here the demo. Let's see if we can run this demo also. So the demo is available through Google Colab. We have to first do one thing. We'll first see the demo, couple of examples, and then we'll try to you know understand a little bit on the mathematical intu intuition of it. That's what we are going to do, guys. In this, so let me just come over here on the Colab. I'll give the this link in the description. You can also try it out. Now, if you see, first what you have to do, you have to go on the GPU runtime. So you have to click on change GPU. You can already see it selected because I have tested it out. It's on GPU, and we are reading. GPU type T4. If you need any other GPUs as availability, you can also upgrade to Pro as well, which is I think eleven dollar per month. If I'm not wrong, or per hundred compute units. Okay, you have to check that if you are upgrading for Google, uh, uh, not Google, sorry, Google Colab Pro. Okay, and so this is the Colab link, guys. Okay, let's understand a bit. Okay, uh, about that, what is happening here? So first, what it's doing? It's Getting this from here, drag and dot git. Okay, it's the repository. So let's do that as well. So it says, okay, let's do run anyway. So that from using from my other account on the drive, and you can see I have, you know, let me just also do this here. You can now see drag and in the left hand side. Okay, all of the files are you know here. Colab, IP, and the file everything is here. Let me just do. So we are importing system, you know, path, and we are getting this a drag and here in this one. And we have to install all the requirements txt. Okay, we need this installation done in the Colab. If not, if if by default there is uh, few of the dependencies will not be there. Torch etc will be there. It will install all other dependencies which are required in this case. Okay, so let it install. We come down. And what they have done? They have given you a Gradio application, guys. Okay, so you know from Gradio you can run it from your own Colab as well, accessing the GPU runtime, the same GPU runtime that we have. So I think it is done. Now let's do one thing. Let's come over here and we'll import from Gradio app import main. It will import this Gradio application. Okay, that we're going to run. And you know we have this demo dot q concurrency count one maximum size twenty. We'll launch this. It will give you a public URL that we can refer it. So let's wait for that. And we'll also understand a little bit about you know the mathematical intuition behind this guy. So both the component that you know we discussed, feature-based motion supervision and discriminative GAN as well. We have to understand a little bit about the mathematics, you know, the math, little bit on a high level in layman terms. They have given you the research paper. Even if you don't want to you know create something like this, you should understand how it works at least you know to uh, that will help in the future as well because you will see every day uh, the new model are being launched. Okay, so you should know how it's working at least. So anyway, uh, I think it's, it's taking a little time. It will take a little time. Ready to go? If you come down, they have given you, you know, multiple demo here. The example, if you see, okay, this is the one. Okay. Now let's meanwhile let's understand these guys. Okay, so we will understand these two. Okay, now I'm just writing it over here. Let's just write number one, feature based. So I'm just writing FPMS. For now, okay, we we'll understand it, how it works. For example, so as I discussed, right? It's a it involves training the system to understand how different points in the image should move to reach target positions. And this can, you know, we will have a basic mathematical formula. Now let's denote the handle point. For example, your handle point is equal to P, for example, and target position is the target. Position and your target position is, for example, let, let's have P star. So this is your target position, okay. And the, our goal is to determine motion vector. Okay, that we have to determine the motion vector. So let me just write it: motion vector. What will be the motion vector that takes from P to P star? Okay, this is very fundamental. Okay, this is what we have to determine mathematically. So how how can we do that, guys? Okay, let's. Do you think we can do like this? Okay. So now this thing that you see, it represents the motion vector. Okay, needs to be applied to P to reach P star. So by learning this motion vector during training, okay, the system can understand the relationship between the handle points and the desired moment. Okay, there's a there's a very simple formula, very high level formula. 
Now this takes a lot of other calculations the way the algorithm that they have used to train the model okay, on the data that they have. Okay, that's on the FVMS. Now second, we'll talk about discriminative GAN feature. Let me just write it over here, discriminative GAN feature. So for that, let's do first one thing. I'll just come back on this here and let's run this app as well. You know, it's trying to download some hugging face, the checkpoint that you can see, config FTT, the photo, it downloaded. And it will start, you know, a gradual application, it will start. Right? Okay, so it's a unofficial implementation of Dragon by GT Young Live. Okay, and you can see now, we have got a public URL. Okay, now when you click on the public URL, what it does, it will start a gradual application in a new tab. Okay, and you will have access to 72 hours, but that will eventually not work because, you know, I think Google Colab gives 12 to 15 hours of free GPU runtime, okay, at, at one time. You know, so now if you come over here, it said drag GAN unofficial, unofficial implementation of drag GAN, not released yet, tutorial is draw a mask, indicate the movable reason, set up at least one pair of handle point and target point, click drag it, that's what I have to do, okay. Now handle point, so handle point is in the color blue, okay. So handle point that the blue color the point you want to drag so that point will drag and the target point will be red the destination now for example if you come over here you will see this if you have to open this lips if you want to you know make this lady to smile or laugh you have to open that lip isn't it so your if you come if you go up you will see the target point which is red so your target point now if you have to make this lip in little in the lower side you have to Maybe we have to click here on the red side. Okay, now I'm just writing one thing. Let me just do one thing. Okay. And here, and now what you have to do, we have multiple model over here. So by default, let's have this FFHP config FPT, draw a mask, set up handle point, you know, something like this. Okay. So what you can also do, let me just show you first. Okay, we'll do this. So you can see set up handle point. So let's set up our handle point. Okay, we'll not go on draw a mask. You can also do that. So I'll set up handle point. And you can see new image, if you want to change the image, you can also do that. And you can also have maximum iterations. So if you increase the maximum iteration steps, it will take a lot of time to, you know, maybe for example, to give you the desired result. Because you have, these are nothing but the number of steps that you have. Okay. So anyway, so let's do, in that case, let's do that. So what I'm going to do now, okay. So just give me a minute to plug in the charger. Okay, now in that case, what we have to do, guys? Okay, you have to let me just show you. So it will take a little time, okay, because you have clicked on the setup handle point. Okay. You can see this is my blue, blue, and what I'm going to do here, I just clicked on it. So wait for that, and you can. They have given you some descriptions. You can see now I have a blue point and a red point. So if you come. And if you come on top, you will see handle points. Do the point you want to drag. So I want to drag that point, and the red point is nothing the target point, the destination you want to drag towards to. Okay. You can see they are also talking about GAN inversion. You know, due to limitation of GAN, I, I, I discussed earlier, right? The GAN inversion. When I said why you use GAN inversion is that we have to understand, you know, that it can work with the real images, not just computer generated ones. This is possible through GAN inversion, where the system learns to recreate real images based on the manipulation that we are making. Okay, so you can see they have talk, they are talking about GAN inversion, the limitation, etc. Over here, you know, there are some limitations as well. Now, what you have to do? Let's have this maximum iteration 20. You can see the selected point, the key points over here. Now, let's drag it. When you click on drag it, guys, it will take little time for you. Okay, it will take maybe that kind of up to take a minute if your maximum iteration is 20. Meanwhile, let's understand, let it happen, it will show you the progress there. Let me come back, you know, on this year you can talking about discriminative GAN feature. Okay, so let me just go back. We'll talk about, you know, discriminative GAN feature. The second component of drag GAN, you know, involves tracking the positions of the handle points as they are dragged around the image. So blue to red. And this is accomplished using this feature, discriminative GAN feature. Now, it's a special characteristics that we have discussed earlier as well. So, it's basically this can happen through, you know, using two ways, guys. You know, this, this can be done, like using techniques such as either features matching, for example, features matching, 
or you know even with the regression this can be done you know using that okay now so the discriminative GAN feature basically it provides a way to encode the relevant information about the image and guide the system in basically localizing the handle points accurately okay so now if you let's see mathematically how we can do it in a very high level so I'm just writing here discriminative discriminative GAN feature equal to F this is my discriminative GAN feature and the estimated position estimated position estimated position is nothing but let's call this of the handle point as P S T something like this okay and the tracking process basically the involve finding the estimated position PA the best from the handle point P so and I'll just write for example handle point P okay handle point P how can we you know how can we represent this guy so this is nothing but the we have to get the P estimation so P estimation is nothing but this is going to be a function now for that function is a little complex thing the function that how we can define is track f of P f and p this is a high level function of that guy so this track is the function you know and that's where all the magic happens guys you know and that for that if you read the recent paper you will understand a bit that takes the discriminative GAN features f that you will see this f and the initial position p and estimate this current position p s you know of the handle point based on that you know feature so this is a high level example so we have seen discriminative GAN features and you know feature based motion supervision so if you want to understand how drag and works this is the co major component that drag and is utilizing feature based motion supervision and discriminative GAN features now if you come back on the gradio application okay now you can see it says download so let me just download it guys so I'm just downloading it over here this is the one and now if you also click on download this I will see let me just show you okay now you can see how it's opening up guys you can you can see right the entire see now th this was your default image okay if you see it over here this was your default image let me just go back on the gradio I have to go to reverse and to check it but this is all the step that you see so if you come back if I just play this a two second video now the lady was not smiling okay the lady was kind of a neutral uh, you know expression there but now if you see we have our just see the blue to red point guys if you see the blue point okay and to the red point Okay, now this is one example. Now, now what you can also do, if you come, you can click on new image. So when you click on new image, what it does is try to you know generate, give you some new images as well. Okay, you can also do that, but for you have for that you have to wait it. Okay, so you can play around this, guys. Okay, I'll give the link in the description. You know, it's it's fascinating to see, and you know, Adobe has also basically released the uh, uh, you know added Firefly into their uh, of. Photoshop, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to my channel, okay, your channel, you will see you see it over here. If you go to source, if you come on source, you will see this is what I'm talking about. So Adobe is you know, brought AI to Photoshop. You can see it over here. They're also dragging and you know writing some prompt to get the yellow line there, separation, etc. They can also do that. Yeah. And that's what they're all starting to you know, go ahead and add these features in their you know, application. So you, can, you just saw that how this drag GAN unofficial implementation on Gradio that we have explored. You know, I'll give the link in the description. I'll also give you the actual project page link in the description. You can go ahead and have a look on that. And I will say maybe I can also share this screen grab if you are if you are interested to you know mathematically understand a bit okay how it's working in the back end. So I think you know, that's all for you know today's video, guys. I hope you know you like the video. If you like the video, please you know hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe it will help me create more content like this you know there are a lot of uh, uh, things happening in the industry and I will keep up myself on the trend and I will create more videos like this so please share this video and channel with your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next one